You're listening to the Drummer Daily Podcast, the only daily podcast dedicated just to drummers. Go to my website at danielhadaway.com. All right, you've made it through another rousing week of Drummer Daily. Welcome back. Um, Today, we are going to talk about the last of a three-part series on worship drumming. Uh, So this is going to be... three different parts of uh, what I think are kind of key components to being a a great worship drummer. Uh, So the first day we talked about sensitivity, uh, and then yesterday we talked about dynamics, um, which is, you know, uh, playing, like I said, loud, loud, but without intensity, with a laid back kind of feel, or also quietly, but with intensity, and everything other, every other combination. Um, I guess I should have been clear, there are times when you do want to play loud and with intensity, and you also want to play quiet, Um, and laid back. Those are all, you have to kind of intentionally do all of those to kind of make it all work. Um, So today, the final piece of the puzzle is uh, is something that I think is what I've kind of hung my hat on uh, for years as a drummer and kind of why, honestly, this is probably why I get called to do anything that I get called to do. And that is dependability. Um, what I mean by that is, well, there's a couple of things. First, take whatever you think dependability to mean, and it probably means that. You need to be that as a drummer. Um, but what that means is I try to show up on time, try to show up early if I can, try to show up prepared, uh, so click tracks, ready to go. Um, and for me, I always think about like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to assume anyone else is going to do anything. So I'll prepare myself with everything that I could possibly imagine needs to happen. Um, for a gig and then I'll show up with all of it. And then if I don't use it, no, no harm, no foul. Um, but I, I know that I can go in confidently into a gig when, if I know that I've prepared. Um, but then uh, as far as dependability um, when I'm playing, um, and this is as far as worship drumming goes, a couple of things that are really important. First thing is um, I want to make it very clear um, that whatever I personally say that I'm going to play, if we resolve that something is going to happen in a, in a, in a, in a set of songs or a, at a specific time in a song, I, and then I have to make sure that I do that when I say, you know, I do what I say I'm going to do basically as far as playing goes. Um, so that means uh, that's more important than any other thing, more important than playing the right parts, more important than nailing that sweet lick that you've been practicing, anything else. It is starting the song when they when I say that I'm going to start the song, ending the song, how we're going to end it, whatever else there might be. Um, second thing is I have to be aware of when things are going off the rails or when things are not going as they're planned and try to dictate as much as possible how to get things back on. Uh, in church, the worship leaders are much more visible than we are as drummers. So there shouldn't be a, you don't ever want to see a, it's so distracting to see a worship leader turn around backwards and try to like get the band back with it. Um, I feel like as a drummer, that's my job. And so I want the worship leader to feel confident that if they want to change something on purpose or they make a mistake, that I will pick up on it and I will make sure that everyone else is on the same page. Um, which means sometimes I have to know the songs better than anybody else. I have to know all the parts. I have to know uh, where rhythmically and where melodically uh, maybe a guitar lead spot is supposed to land. And if it's not landing in the right spot, I'm aware of it and can kind of kind of keep my head up and make sure everyone else knows what's going on. Um, that's really important. So, uh, uh, and this, this, it almost kind of, I feel like when I describe it now, it almost kind of sounds arrogant um, to say, oh, I'm the guy who's going to do all this. Uh, but it's not that. I'm not saying that I am in that position um, because I'm great at it. But I feel like as a drummer, that's our job is to do that. And I'm cool with stepping back from anything. What I don't want ever to go away from a gig is I don't want, I don't want someone to say, man, I really wish, or a gig or a church service. I don't want the worship leader or anyone else to come away saying, oh, man, you know, I really wish Daniel would have done that, but he didn't. Um, I'd really rather say, hey, I, I'm going to make sure that we're all on the same page. I'm going to make sure that I'm ready to count in. When someone says, let's, let's play from the verses, play, play from verse 2, I, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to count that in. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead and get that started. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be aware of, you know, maybe if we're, we're running through a song and the worship leader wants to stop for some reason, I need to be aware that they want to stop. If the guitar player wants to stop, I need to see everybody and know, okay, they, they have a question. Let's stop right now. Um, cause people won't stop normally if a bass player stops playing or a guitar player stops playing, but nine times out of 10 as a drummer, if we stop playing, uh, everyone notices and they stop playing. So you're kind of like a band leader, even if you're not in the situation of being a band leader, you have to 
have to be aware of everybody. You have to you have to be ready to dictate things when they go off the rails. Um, and then the other thing is just is just and this is kind of a more basic playing thing, but uh, what I kind of pride myself on is like if you get me to come play drums for any situation, what I kind of make is my baseline promise is that things are not going to fall apart um, if I if, uh, if I play drums. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to impress you with what I play. That doesn't mean that I'm the greatest drummer in the world. What that means is that uh, my number one priority when I play is that is that is that we get through without distractions and that that we accomplish the goal of whatever we're set out to do. So in church, that means other people get to worship um, in a church service. I, I, a lot of times for me, if there's a really bad ear mix or something's not going right, I may not get a chance to worship as much as I'd like to or get involved as much as I like to. Um, but I have to remember that there's other times to do that. So my job in a, in, a, in a worship drumming situation is to enable other people to worship. So I have to be okay with that, but also know that like that's my focus is getting is getting this thing done correctly um, and without distraction. Um, so being dependable really is kind of what I think is the most important thing, obviously, um, and consistent. And that goes along with being dependable um, and predictable. That's the other thing. I, 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 uh, some kinds of music, like uh, you know, when you're going to a big show in an arena, you go see Coldplay or Beyonce or somebody play. Uh, you like surprises as an audience member. You like to to be surprised and wowed by what's going on on stage. Um, uh, in my experience, people at church, especially who are trying to sing something that's true for them, uh, they don't really want a surprise in how the song is arranged or where the song's going. You don't want to be the one guy singing out at the top of your lungs and then everything drops out. Uh, you know. Like they always have the jokes and like TV shows and stuff. Someone's talking really loud and then the music gets really quiet and they're the one person yelling. Uh, you don't want to feel like that uh, as someone who's a worshiper at a church who's going to, to, to worship. You don't want to feel like the band could betray your trust in a way, almost. And as a drummer, that's that's what I, I want to strive to lead uh, to lead in that way. Is It doesn't matter if I telegraph that the song's about to end by opening the hi-hat on the last bar and really telegraphing to everyone that we're going to end. Uh, I feel like everyone in the room feels much better about the fact that they, you know, they don't care that I, that I, oh, the drummer gave it away. Most people don't even notice that anyway. They feel much better about knowing, uh, I, I think that, I think that a band ending on the same place and being on the same page is much more important than any kind of uh, un- behind the scenes voodoo we do to try to make it seem like we're not trying and we don't, you know, we have it all together. Uh, I mean, the truth about worship drumming and wor- playing worship music generally at a church is that you might have had a rehearsal, you might not. Everyone knows that most of us probably aren't doing this for a living. We're just showing up, you know, out of, and volunteering to do this. Um, so you need to hold yourself to a standard of what is the best way I can ser- I can serve um, as a drummer, not what is the most impressive thing I can do as a drummer. I know a lot of us, and a lot of you already know that and already already uh, feel that way, oh, but it's always good to hear a reminder. So uh, be dependable. That's kind of the main word I want to focus on is dependable, but uh, be predictable uh, and be uh, and just, uh, you know, consistent. That's the other word I wanted to get at. So anyway, I um, hope that's helpful to you. I hope you've had a great week. Um, please uh, check out uh, my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Daniel Hathaway. Um, I'm going to try to start posting more to Instagram and Facebook, kind of ongoing throughout this tour. I think it'll be a lot of fun for everyone to see behind the scenes. I'm going to do some walkthroughs, the drums that I have and the symbols and everything, um, and kind of answer any questions you might have. So uh, feel free to jump over there. Shoot me an email at daniel at danielhathaway.com as well. And I will talk to you again next week. I uh, hope your weekend goes well. And if you're playing at church, go have fun. Maybe use some of the stuff you learned this week. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.